Hello and welcome everyone. The Hobgoblin is one of Spider-Man's villains from Marvel Comics. He accidentally discovered the Green Goblin's secret hideout and modified the costume and weapons to become the next Goblin villain in Spider-Man's life. Hobgoblin clashed with the Green Goblin several times, and they both hate each other. Hobgoblin has joined villain groups such as the Sinister Six and the Sinister Seven. So in this video, we are going to talk about Hobgoblin. We will discuss his origin and motivation along with his powers and abilities. But before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that out of the way, let's get started with the video. The Hobgoblin was created by writer Roger Stern for The Amazing Spider-Man issue 238. Like other writers, Stern found himself under pressure to have Spider-Man fight the Green Goblin again, but did not wish to bring Norman Osborn back from the dead. So he was faced with the choice to either have Harry Osborn be the Green Goblin again, or create yet another Green Goblin. Stern instead created a new concept as heir to the Goblin legacy and developed the Hobgoblin. The Hobgoblin's identity was not initially revealed, generating one of the longest-running mysteries in the Spider-Man comics. There have been a few characters over the years who have taken up the mantle of Hobgoblin, the first and the original of which was Edward Ned Leeds, who was a reporter working for the Daily Bugle. He was brainwashed to act as a stand-in on many occasions and fooled the underworld into thinking that he was the Hobgoblin. He was later murdered by the foreigner after the actual supervillain had decided that he was no longer needed. Moving on to the powers and abilities of Hobgoblin, the different version of Hobgoblin has different powers. Roderick Kingsley's version wears bulletproof mail with an overlapping tunic, cape, and cowl. A computerized system cybernetically causes the finger blasters to randomly vary their attack vectors when trained on a particular target. He uses a goblin glider, a one-man miniature turbofan-powered vertical thrust, cybernetically controlled vehicle. It can reach high velocities and is extremely maneuverable. He uses concussion and incendiary. His gloves are woven with micro-circuited power conducting filaments, which channel pulse discharges of electricity. He wore a shoulder bag to carry a small, portable weaponry. While brainwashed, Ned Leeds wore the Hobgoblin's uniform and used the goblin glider and equipment which included jack-o'-lantern bombs, razor bats, and electrical shock gloves. However, he had no healing factor, superhuman strength. As a Hobgoblin, Phil Yurch wears an orange Hobgoblin costume with wings on the back that allow him to fly without the use of a goblin glider, and he took the Hobgoblin mask as his own. He uses the traditional pumpkin bombs that all Green Goblins and Hobgoblins before him have used, but he also has a new flaming sword. He still retains his lunatic laugh and he also has superhuman strength, speed, durability, and senses and also enhanced intellect. For unknown reasons, he no longer needs his goblin mask to activate this power. With the help of Reverbium, his lunatic laugh was able to cause a building to collapse. And that's all you need to know. With that, we will bring this video to an end. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.